Hi friends, this is Hi Dwarka. Today we are going to see that how to install the Oracle DDPs in Linux environment. First, we need to log in as your Oracle user because the installation must be started by the Oracle user. So, I already logged in as your Oracle user. See, and I am started the installer. The three career things must be passed, otherwise the installation will not be proceed. In my thing, in my case, the three things have to be passed successfully. So, hope the installation will be started in few minutes, few seconds. <clears throat> yeah, it's opening. And also, I don't need the mail confirmations from Oracle side here. The next step is create and configure the DDPs. So that's what I need to select and also the install software alarm. This uh, this thing is uh, used for upgradation part. So just select next and need to provide the Oracle database name. The service ID I need to provide here. Here, um, see my ID is India, so my global DB name is India, and also we need to provide the password here because the 12.12c series is require the passwords. You need to provide as your first letter or any one of the letter is caps, and also you need to mingle with the numerical. So I had done that. I don't need the pluggable DB. Okay, in this part you will see the Oracle inventory. So okay, it's fine. Just go for next. The pre request will be started. Hope it will also done. Oh God, it's fab size is here. It doesn't matter uh, because uh, if I'm going to change the fab size means it just give me another uh, sometimes. I just going to ignore it. Before that, I'm just for uh, think is there any solution for that? There's no solution. Just ignore it. Okay. Actual target is moving. Okay. Ignore it and go for next. Provide this. Okay. Now I need to install it. Okay. The installation will be begin. Will be complete within few minutes. You will find the previous or any of the related videos for this thing here in my channel. Okay, we need to run some scripts as a root user. So log in as a root user here because one script is belongs to the Oracle inventory directory and another script is belongs to the Oracle home directory. So first I need to run it in the inventory directory which is in the Oracle base inventory. Okay. We can't able to copy that so you need to put you need to enter the directory directly. You see the one just go to the directory I can't be able to execute from here. User one app <coughs> run inventory into and run dot slash. We need to use that the script name run st root. Okay, it will be executed successfully. And the another script also there, it will be located in the Oracle home directory. So I have to come back from the so cd dot dot. Home directory product. Okay, the script name is dot root. So it will be executed and it will be found for that. I am providing no to the tracker and click the OK. The installation will go for a few minutes only. <coughs> Yep, 
yeah it will be succeeded hope the database is successfully installed and let me see how do we open it from the em and thanks for watching guys hope this will be helpful for you how to install the database in linux in view on next village